and welcome back. So, um, I decided that I wanted to do some spray bottles. I had some extra spray, spray bottles sitting in a, a cabinet and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this because I have these bottles that I make my own cleaner, um, chemical free and all that stuff. And so I, I have these bottles that I do like a linen freshener and glass cleaner and, uh, a stone countertop cleaner, you know, that kind of thing. So anyways, I thought, you know, they just sit there and the glass isn't that bad, but I just thought these vinyls that I got from Flynn sisters, like I want to use every single one of them. And so I was, I was just so drawn to them. And I thought this would make such a beautiful display, you know, like if I just let it, if it was just sitting out on the counter, which I do most of the time, I have like a little basket that they sit in, but I thought if they were like all pretty and glittered and with this beautiful vinyl that, um, I'd be able to, you know, have something nice that was just sitting there. Um, also my linen freshener, I usually keep that in my bedroom. And so it's usually sitting out. So I thought, you know, it'd be really pretty just to kind of have something sitting there that was, you know, almost like an art piece kind of thing. Anyways, that's my justification for this. What you saw there was me sanding the um, bottles down because, you know, that's what you do. You just really need to sand them down. Um, I was going to be covering them, covering them in vinyl, so I wasn't going to paint them or anything. Plus, the metal is very... These are aluminum, so they're very thin. So, I really don't like to do too much to them as far as like putting too much heat or anything like that. So, um, and I also wanted to leave the bottom open uh you know I didn't want to I didn't want to finish off the bottom so uh that way I could kind of you know slam them on the counter if I needed to and I wasn't gonna you know worry about cracking that epoxy so anyways that's kind of why I didn't paint them because I just knew I was going to be glittering just a tiny bit but so what I'm doing here is I'm using the electrical tape and I'm using a bottle a uh, water bottle cap to screw into the end of these little pipe pieces that you would screw into something else that whatever they go to in, in the piping industry, which I have no idea, but these top, these, um, pieces that I get at, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever they, um, they have like threads on them. Well, the cap for the bottle has some threads on the outside of it. And so it, they just kind of attach to one another. It's not a perfect binding by any means. You have to be very careful because they will kind of bend and and pop off if you are not very careful but you can kind of get them in there a little bit tight and then just very softly put your glitter on or whatever it is um i mean the uh, epoxy on or whatever kind of resin type of thing that you're using but um anyways so i'm using these coveted florals oh by the way dasani and aquafina i think are the ones that have like the real thick caps so when you go and you're trying to get a cap for this you know, go get you a nice bottle of water, but make sure that it's something with a really thick cap. And most of them, most of all the ones that I have seen or that I've used, um, this is a Dasani cap and then the other one is an Aquafina cap. So they all kind of fit on there, right? So I'm pretty sure you'll be all right with one of those, but the thicker, the the thicker the, you know, the cap, the better. So what I did was trimmed off all of that white around the florals just to make sure that I didn't accidentally, because I've been known to do that many times where I've accidentally left some of the white. And then when I've cut down the backside, it's, there's the white, you know, in there. So I've, I'm always like, just cut all the white off, you know, um, unless you want to keep where you got the vinyl from or what the name is. Other than that, I would just cut all the white off. So I have to be honest, I am not very good at wrapping a straight, you know, uh, straight line, straight, whatever. I'm, so I was, I've been watching, um, Brittany Barnes and just, uh, Mallory and like, uh, Dixie Darlings, all these people that I really admire and they're always getting things so straight and so, accurate that I was just like, I'm just really going to study how they do this. And so I kind of just kind of followed some of their guidelines, which was, um, to kind of wrap it. And then this Cami Page Boutique 
cradle thing is really cool because it will hold the vinyl in place, right? So it kind of swoops it over up underneath the vinyl. And so when I am, so when I put it on, I can kind of put one side on and then kind of pull the other side to see if it matches. Um, it's not an exact science by any means, but I have seen a little bit better results in doing this this way. So... <laughs> I'm kind of just like, okay, you know, maybe this does work, but I'm, I'm telling you, I guess it just takes a lot of practice, a lot of patience. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how these people do this or it just looks perfect and maybe it's not, I don't know. But anyways, so I was kind of, I wasn't, obviously these were for me and they were just kind of an idea for you to like you know, like, hey, if you just leave your bottle sitting out and instead of it saying Clorox or something, you know, maybe you just put it in one of these, a water bottle for your, you know, bathroom when you do the kid's hair or something like that. Anything along those lines that you use a bottle for spray, um, you know, this would be something that you can just kind of fancy it up. And that way when it's sitting there, it doesn't look so, you know, industrial, you know, anyways, so I wrapped it around and I pulled it the, as tight as I could on the bottom part of that vinyl there so that I could use my cami page cutter, um, cutting device, this blade, I really need a new one. I end up changing the blade, but I only had one of those short razor blades, one of those little boxy ones, instead of like that triangle one that's in there. So that was fun to try to work with that, but it actually did work. I just had to press really hard to keep it in there. But anyways, beside the point. Um, I did the wrap on all of these. These are the coveted, well, that the first one was the coveted floral. Um, and I was kind of trying to match the coveted floral, that one with the teal that's right there in the frame there. Um, with this green, I, I, I thought maybe they would, they would look good together in the kitchen because I do, I have a lot of fiesta wear and it's very colorful. And so I thought this would be okay for that but I ended up changing my mind <laughs> because the velvet or the corridor or whatever fabric it is that is behind these flowers in this teal one that's off to the side is um I don't know it's just like it has a little bit of a romantic feel so I thought the bedroom might be a little bit better place for that one than the kitchen so and then this one is really pretty um I thought that it just kind of had a classic feel to it so I thought it would go and plus the green um I have a lot of bright bright colors in my kitchen so I really liked that this bright green the other ones were kind of like a muted not that I don't love them but they were just a little bit more muted so I thought this green and see I tried to wrap do the same thing with this one and I screwed it all up so I mean you know like it's not an exact science or maybe I didn't even really try all that hard I don't know but I mean the wrapping of the vinyl is just I mean I guess it just takes practice I guess you just got to do it all the time and you just get better and better at it, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, took a slice down the back side there, um, removed that little bit of vinyl that was underneath um, to get a, a perfect, you know, even match of the of the lines in the back. And then um, I was going to be putting glitter on the top, so I wasn't too worried about it being a little bit askew, but it was kind of disappointing. But anyways, no big deal. So once again, I pulled tight, taut, you know, I pulled taut on that, um, on that vinyl there. And, um, so I'm trying to cut it with this blade, but you know, anyway, this, the tool is, it's not the tool's fault. It's totally the blade's fault. The tool is very cool and it does, and it did actually work really well or worked okay with that other blade that wasn't even supposed to be in there. So anyways, so this one, um, was the teal one yeah this is the one with the fabric and this was the one that I was like okay I'm gonna put that with the green because it has a lot of colors and I thought the colors would be really pretty for the um kitchen but then I I, I kind of second guessed when I anyways this is me do, trying to do it a different way which is I'm putting a piece of tape on which Mallory does a lot of the times so I was trying to see like okay let me put a piece of tape and get it all perfect okay but I wanted this side to to go underneath then and I wanted this side to go on the outside so I was trying to replace and I was trying to keep it in in spot and this cami page boutique uh, cradle thing is very nice for this particular task so I was um yeah I, I this one was a little bit easier I guess you could say um 
yeah, it was just, you know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I wrapped these in vinyl. That's, that's the main point. That's, and look at that beautiful flower. I mean, look at those beautiful flowers. Look at that. I wish that I would have maybe cut it a little bit into, um, maybe paid a little bit more attention to the flowers, but I was trying to get the different colors in there anyways. So I, um, ended up pushing this one and slicing down the backside again and, um, pulling taut the vinyl from the bottom and cutting that off, doing the same exact thing as we did to the other two. So I decided to use um, some glitter glue because um, I just wanted just a tiny bit of glitter at the top there and then just kind of maybe a little bit of a waterfall effect down onto the vinyl. But I, I mean, I sanded this thing and everything, but it's still, this glitter glue, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's just the way that I work or the way that I do things or whatever it is, or it just doesn't like my environment. I have no idea. But anyways, um, I put it on there and as quickly as I could, I put the glitter on there so that, so that it wouldn't like start, you know, wicking away or whatever. So anyways, um, I did mix the colors of these and I, and I was filming. So I thought the whole time and I was, you know, mixing the colors and putting them in these little things and shaking them and showing you the results and everything. And then I, I went and I, periodically I checked my camera and um, I looked up and boom, there was no filming so um that was the one so i got one of them <laughs> that i uh, filmed glittering them but um this is me putting epoxy on there i'm going to show you what i did or you know the uh, glitters that i used for each one of these particular bottles and the combination that i put together so um fret fear not it is coming the information so um i ended up doing um a coat of epoxy and then doing another coat of epoxy and putting it over the glitter because I, I kind of, the glitter was just not sticking. And so I just kind of left it to kind of dry there. I just left it alone. And so I went ahead and, um, put a coat of epoxy over the whole thing, just the bottom part with the vinyl. Then this is the, my second coat of epoxy where I'm putting epoxy over up up and over the glitter and then what I'm going to do here in a second is take that excess glitter that um, I had mixed up and I am going to pour it onto each one of these and fill in like all that kind of blank and and you can still see that aluminum underneath that silver and um, just to kind of cover up that line of the vinyl and everything so um, I ended up doing it this way which is Probably the way I should have done it in the very beginning anyway was just put some epoxy and then poured the, you know, just waterfalled the glitter on there. But I was trying to be quick with the glitter glue and all that. But anyways, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. But anyways, so I put a coat of epoxy on both of these and then I ended up starting, or all three of these, I should say. And then I started um, putting that glitter and, and pouring that glitter where um, the glitter is on the tumbler to fill in those areas. So this color here is Zuri and Bertha, I believe. I'm going to show all the glitters after this. Um, but, and sorry about my hand being in the way. I won't do this for too long, but um, I just, like you're seeing here, I just sprinkled as much of it as I could onto um, that area that was so um just kind of desolate in its glitter coverage and then also i wanted to cover that line up and so i just kind of started um dousing it on and then just kind of letting it fall where it may um i used the remainder of that little pot that i made of each one of these glitters and then i just uh, you know threw everything away after that so i so i did use pretty much everything, but I just used a tiny bit of each one of these glitters because I didn't want to waste too much of it. And, um, and I was like, well, at this point I can just use all of it. And so that's what I did with that, with this coat of epoxy. So this would have been my second coat, but I, but it was the second coat where I went up onto the glitter and then I used the remainder of this glitter to, you know, cover up the rest of those areas. 
So actually, I'm going to tell you a little bit um, about to do what I say and not do what I did. But um, I actually put a coat of epoxy on these and then left them for the weekend um, so that uh, we could go to the beach for um, Labor Day. So I would recommend that you take this um, electrical tape off as quickly as you can as far as like until you, as far as when you can handle the tumbler or the, um, the bottle and you can pull that electric tape off. Um, I would do it very quickly because you can get that, um, you know, that, that epoxy that will build up on that on that top but i let it sit over the weekend so just don't do that make sure that you're taking them off and unscrewing that cap and pulling off that electrical tape and then putting new tape on and putting the cap back on and that kind of thing so here's my glitter mixes so i was showing you the vinyl before so this one was what incarnation and bertha was that combination this combination was kanaohe and mojito um, and so, and then this one was Bertha and Zuri. So I was really trying to find that really deep teal and Zuri was about the closest I could come. I didn't necessarily like it as much as I think maybe a different teal, but it was the only one I could think. Anyways, this is me trying to clean up my mess because I let the um, thing sit overnight or over like three days so just don't do that and uh, be careful when you're doing this kind of stuff too don't be crazy like me because um, I'm pretty sure it slipped one time and thank god this is a very very dull blade and I keep it for stuff like this because I don't want to use my real fancy nice blades that I cut vinyl with or whatever for stuff like this so I'm just using a very old old cricket blade there so anyways I'm cleaning up that mess um, this would will probably not happen I want to say probably not happen if you are going in after every single coat and taking that um, electrical tape off and making sure you're keeping that uh, that edge clean and all that so I don't show you much of this because I really got into the sanding here and I'm holding it up against my chest and I'm really trying to get the little um, sharp edges off with my file. So yeah, anyways, I, um, I'm sorry I wasn't in view. I, I get very much in the moment with some of this stuff. You know, I'm really trying to work it hard. So <laughs> that's why all of a sudden I'm like going further and further and further away from the camera. So Anyways, I was showing the vinyl earlier about which one I wanted to use. So, like, I found this kind of rose gold color that I wanted to use for the, um, but this was when I was, I had decided that I was going to swap and do the other one as the linen spray and, um, uh, this one as the glass cleaner. So, um, this is a little bit, this, this metallic is, it's so beautiful and I love using it. But it is very hard to work with. It's, it's, you basically can't use transfer tape on it because nothing will pick it up. So, or at least I haven't found anything to pick it up. So anyways, this is me. I switched up the linen freshener with the gold. And so I did that for the teal one. And um, these I just kind of uh, put together in Cricut. I didn't really do anything, you know, fancy because I don't know. I didn't want to do like a... Anyways, I didn't want to make an SVG because I figured there's maybe you want to say something else. Maybe you want to put Windex on there. I don't know or whatever. So I just kind of left it to where to the things, left it to the names that I use. So anyways, I did do some sanding before I put those decals on. Um, this is the time to do it, especially because these decals um, are just vinyl and all you're doing is sticking them on there. There's no white back. There's no clear or anything like that. So it's not going to cause any, um, you know, it's going to be fine just to, just to put this on this sanded surface. So, um, I did make these a three and a half, um, because I, I just, I don't know. I, when they're scripted like this, I really like to see like as big as I can possibly get them. Um, and so that's kind of why I did that. But I always, I just, I don't know. It's, it's my aesthetic. I like it. I like to have big letters and big, you know, and big decals. So, but um, anyways, that's how I did that. Um, basically the same on every single one of them. I did a lot of sanding and uh, sand. Definitely the glitter. The glitter was probably the most, the part with the most uh, problems. And, uh, and then just sanded the rest of that so that vinyl would stick on there 
um, and then went on to uh, doing all three of them in the same fashion. And like I was saying earlier, this is the one that um, that no no transfer tape works on it. Brand new piece, none. It doesn't matter. So I ended up just taking it off of the of the the backing there and just kind of placing it on. I ended up putting it in the wrong spot, but it's okay. I, I it still looked nice. It looks still looked pretty. It just wasn't exactly how I designed it. So when I take this one off, I put the L in between the. G and the L of the glass and so you know and then there you go that's what I so it, it became a little bit uh, a little bit off-centered from the way I had planned it and this one I really tried to match the font to that style I don't know I it just I don't know I like this kind of font this is the kind of how I write too so <laughs> so it just kind of it, it was uh I was feeling it so anyways ended up doing all the same to every single one of these but um and then and then we went into sealing them so there, all three of them are, um, I was very happy at this point. <laughs> it's like, it's exactly what I wanted. They're so pretty and they're going to look so pretty sitting on my counter or on my nightstand or whatever. So anyways, I wanted to go over because I did not go over this in the very beginning, but I wanted to show you how you just wrap that electrical tape around there. Just wrap it on there one time. Don't get crazy because though that cap that you're going to screw on there, um, it can't take up too much room. That tape can't take up too much room or it's not going to screw on there, but it will screw on. It's just, it, you kind of have to push it on there to get that tape to kind of go down. And then, um, and then you are going to take it and you're going to screw it into that top part of, you know, that piece of the screw. I mean the pipe, the piece of the pipe that has the threads. So then, like I said, I went into sealing them with some Mod Podge. Um, I just kind of took, I just, just kind of evened it out all over the, um, the vinyl and then just kind of took it around the tumbler and, and up, up and around basically, um, just to make sure that we got a really good seal on those. And, um, have you seen the, see me do this? tons of times and this is what I did for all three of them. I did end up buying um some a pipe that would fit the same type of pipe that my MH turners have and I tried to cut them very short because I wanted to use them for this particular thing but they still were a little bit too long and then these bottles come out so pardon my shirt and my foot and my mess of you know anyways so <laughs> just wanted to show you kind of how lightly uh I put the epoxy on there because if you start pushing on it that you could bend the and you can start seeing me kind of bend it and I'm trying to get it back straight and um yeah so you just have to be real careful um, because the, like I said, it's not a proper science. So now I'm trying to get it back into alignment. So, um, and that's another reason why I don't like to finish. I didn't want to finish the bottom on this because, um, I knew that I wasn't going to, I was probably going to get kind of a wobbly butt because these are just, I mean, they stay on and they don't come off or anything like that, but they're just not so like solid, solid to wear, um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I put a coat of epoxy on all of these and that was it. And here they are. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer ex exit. Ex um, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> I wanted to show each one of them kind of in detail. I do personally, uh, I will not lie, they need to be sanded a little bit more and put one more final coat of epoxy on there. But I wanted to get this uh, this video out so that y'all could have, um, you know, some ideas or start ordering your bottles or whatever. For the longest time, these bottles were not available and um, they were kind of, it was kind of upsetting. So when I found them again, I was very excited and um and then I had a couple left in my drawer anyways I've got some more so I'm ready to do more and more of these spray bottles and put them all over everywhere um but um anyways I love them and this is like I don't it's not gonna motivate me to clean by any means but it will not make me feel so guilty when I just leave them 
sitting out after I use them. So <laughs> anyways, these vinyls are, are absolutely stunning. I mean, Jessica Flynn outdid herself with this. She is one of a kind in her thoughts of, you know, how things flow together or what is you know, the, the hip and new and, you know, something that we haven't seen before or something that we have seen before, but yet it's just, it just feels like it's on a whole new level. So that's why I absolutely loved these vinyls and I wanted to use every single one of them. And, um, and I didn't even feel, I felt almost like the, a tumbler just wasn't good enough or it just, they needed to be on display like all the time because like I wanted to put them, put it in a 12 by 12 frame and just frame it and put it on the wall. That's how beautiful these are. So, um, that was kind of what got me into thinking that I could do something like this where they're just sitting out and it's like a piece of art. So anyways, that's enough of my chit chat for sure. Jessica, just using your line there for a minute because I've been chit chatting the whole time. Anyways, I, hope you love this uh, as much as I do. I'm so excited about these. Um, I I, I want to make them for everything that I use in the house. But anyways, please like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do with them. And um, please join my Facebook group and come see us over there. Uh, I have a lot of things coming in the future here and I would love to share them with you. So please subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Thank you.